Hi everyone and thank you for watching. My name is Olga. I am software engineer from JetBrains Educational Products team. I am also an avid learner and have a lot of experience using different tools, including many online platforms and code forces as well. Today we will talk about educational products here at JetBrains and how they can be useful with various learning scenarios. I will talk to you today about learning in general and also discuss a little bit more about competitive programming opportunities. You can ask me any questions you have in the chat. I have a little secret to tell you before we begin. I'm not live. We recorded this a few days ago. But what this does mean is that I can answer you to your question right now in the chat. There also will be a Q&A session at the end. Let's start. JetBrains loves education. We have been supporting the education in the community for years now. We work with students and teachers, user groups and meetups, learning centers, schools, colleges, and universities. We have partnership programs with many educational institutions. And since 2015, we have been developing educational products, products that help people with learning and teaching programming. We have several educational products. JetBrains Academy is a project-based learning platform where you can learn and practice programming. We will talk about it more later. We also have our educational IDEs, PyCharm Educational and IntelliJ IDEA Educational Editions. There is also the EduTools plugin, which brings the educational features to our other IDEs as well. The mission of my team is to simplify the process of development for those who have just started, so, so that everyone can use professional tools from the very start of their journey to becoming a software engineers. All our educational products have one thing in common, a learning by doing, hands-on approach. We believe that the best way to learn how to program is to write your own code. The main focus is always on practice. But learning is also about building skills and habits that professional developers have, understanding what developers' tools are needed and why. It's about experimenting and trying new things with all the support th those tools can give you. Learning is connected with teaching and sharing. You don't need to be a professional teacher to share your knowledge. We create products not only for students and teachers, but for everyone, for lifelong learners. Developers today are lifelong learners. You have to be one if you want to keep up. We'd like to show you how you can advance your learning with our educational products, no matter what level you are or what goals you have. Here is what we will cover today. We will start with our tools for competitive programming and our code forces integration. Then we'll have a look on our general approach on how to learn programming more efficiently. We will also cover our tools for educators. At the end, we will discuss the possible ways to collaborate with each other. So, the main topic of today's talk is competitive programming. To be honest, I'm the biggest fan of code forces support in EduTools plugin, and I developed this subsystem as my daily job. So I'm really glad to talk about code forces integration today. Just to be sure that everyone is on the same page, code forces is an online platform for programming competition and contests. It's also a rapidly growing community for people who loves competitive programming. It's a site with competitions which happen about twice a week. Everyone can register and take part. You can choose your programming language of choice, soft task, and then send your solution to the server. CodeForces has its own automated checking system, so you will be informed whether your solution is correct or not. I'm happy to say that you can solve the task right inside our JetBrains IDEs in any of eight supported languages C, Java, Python, Kotlin, Scala, Rust, Go, and JavaScript. Let me quickly re refresh the process of solving a contest on CodeForces platform. After you register on the site, you need to choose the contest. You usually have two or three hours to complete the contest, or you can go through historical contests with no time limits. That's my favorite option. Let's try and solve a task using our JetBrains IDEs, using all the perks our IDEs can provide, such as smart completion, refactoring, source code navigation, and some of other cool stuff. You could use whatever is your favorite JetBrains IDE. The tools plugin is compatible with most of them. Click Learn and Teach and choose Start Code Forces Contest. Then we need to provide the plugin with the link or ID of the contest. Or we could choose from the list by clicking on View All Contests. Then we just need to select one. We are able to choose both the language and the programming language. 
List of programming languages depends on the plugin you have installed. I guess I have Python plugin on my SLI IDE. But let's go with C++. The last step before we start. We could check the list of the tasks. This is how it looks. Let me introduce you to some of the things we can see. On the left part, there is a heart of the IDE, the code editor. It usually takes up a little bit more space. I made the other section bigger to make it easier to see everything. Here you can write your own solution for the task. Our smart code editor helps you to work efficiently by providing lots of smart features. At the bottom, you can see all the tasks from the contest. Each task has an executable file and test set that were provided by contest authors. You can also add your own test sets and check your solution on them. On the right side of the screen, you can see the task description. It's absolutely the same with this section at CodeForces platform. You may already be familiar with this structure. Finally, under the task description, we have three useful buttons. Let's try each of them. I wrote the code and clicked the Run Local Test button. Unfortunately, my solution is wrong. The plugin showed me that expected differs from actual. We also have new button there, Compare Outputs. Let's click it. This view could be very useful when you are searching for small bugs in your solution and when the output is big. Let's return to bottom right menu. When your solution is ready, just click, click Copy and Submit. You don't need to copy-paste the solution, it's done by the ID. You will be redirected to the CodeForces site, where you just need to select the task and paste the solution from the clipboard. And you are all set! To sum up, CodeForces support in JetBrains IDEs gives you the smooth experience of using professional tools with code completion, debugging, and all other features while you take part in contests on your favorite competitive programming site. Our next topic is general approach to learning. At JetBrains, we are passionate about continuous improvement. We hold learning in the highest regard. We are inspired to support those who never stop learning and who help others get better at programming. I am happy to introduce you to JetBrains Academy. It's a project-based learning platform with single concept topics, interactive challenges, and integration with development tools. What does it mean? We believe lectures are never enough when learning to program. You need to practice, and it's even better when you learn by creating working applications. You can start by choosing one of the Python or Java tracks. We also have Kotlin and Web track and beta. You will learn by doing projects. Each of them is a full-fledged independent application. By following along the track, you will also learn the basic syntax of the language and get the introduction to standard libraries. You will also work with popular frameworks and different development approaches. At the end of the language track, you will have completed several projects. The knowledge that you will have by the end of this process could help you to apply to junior developer positions. OK, let's talk a little bit more about the process of learning itself. Right after choosing the programming language, we suggest you to start with a recommended project or select one according to the level of difficulty you are com comfortable with. You can also decide on the project using the user reviews, the time it takes, the number of topic it contains, or just pick a project that piques your interest. Or you can get a detailed project description with a number of ratings providing by our learners who have successfully completed the project. The rating categories are usefulness, clarity, and fun. After selecting a project, you can explore the project structure. Each project is split into stages. You start with a simple working version of your app and then develop more and more advanced version with every stage. On each stage, you go through the list of topics to learn for all the concepts you need on this iteration. But what are the topics? Each topic focuses on explaining one concept using multiple code examples. Topics will usually take around 15 minutes to complete. You will get the concept theory with multiple code examples and that explain it. And then you can check and practice your new knowledge with quizzes and code challenges. You can solve programming assignments from the platform in the online code editor, or you can use an IntelliJ IDEA EDU, PyCharm EDU, or Ultimate or Community IDE with EduTools plugin installed. This plugin provides all the educational functionality in your favorite JetBrains IDE. 
After clicking the Solve in IDE button on the JetBrains Academy platform, you will be redirected to your IDE with the code challenge opened. As you can see, you have the code editor, project view, task window with a description for the particular code challenge you need to solve, and also the check button to check your solution afterwards. On the one hand, switching to an IDE can be a natural barrier for learners because of the installation process, and it has its own learning curve. On the other hand, we believe using a proper IDE can be an additional assistant in the learning process thanks to all the smart features it provides, such as code analysis, refactoring, code completion, quick fixes, and so on. After you have written your solution, you can click the check button to verify it. If the solution is correct, you can go back to JetBrains Academy and continue your learning. The result of solving a code challenge in the IDE will be synchronized with the platform. We also think that learning to use professional tools is as crucial as the languages and technologies. We encourage everyone to implement the project stages in the IDE and even force it for the stages that need more than one file to work with. With one file, there is a choice. Use code editor in the browser or the IDE. And again, with the help of the smart IDE features, you can solve the task and verify your solution. Please also have a look at the bottom of the task description window, where you can see the link that says Pick Solution. Click on it and you will be redirected back to the JetBrains Academy platform to a place where you can look at other solutions to this problem, discuss them with other students, give advice and get help. We believe that being a part of a community and learning together is a very important thing in a learning process. When talking about development tools, we also include build tools, version control systems, and other tools. We have dedicated topics to help set up the environment. And when the project is finished, it can be uploaded to GitHub. Every project you do is an excellent addition to your portfolio. The best resume you can have as a developer is an active GitHub account. On GitHub, there are a lot of profiles with projects from JetBrains Academy. For example, this one from an amazing student who has completed a number of JetBrains Academy projects and built up a great portfolio already. Let's talk about the next section of our talk, practice. If you have some previous experience and you want to fill in some of the gaps, you can get a bird's eye view of where you are at with your learning and choose what you want to learn and practice. If you know which concept you want to learn about, it's a good idea to switch to advanced search. The cheat sheets are helpful for finding what you're looking for, like regular expressions, a topic that you should revise again and again. You can read through the theory of skip it, but it's always a good idea to solve some of the challenges. It will not only help you to refresh your knowledge, but it will also help you to better understand your knowledge gaps. And if you realize you need to dig into it, JetBrains Academy will help you keep focused on what you need to learn. You can always revise the list of prerequisite topics and switch to them if needed. When learning and switching from one interesting topic to the next, it's so easy to lose track of your learning journey. Realizing your progress and reflecting on your own goals can be a big motivation to keep going and is the one of the most important aspects of the learning process. So we created a knowledge map that will show your progress and help you choose the next step. If you want to practice your algorithm skills, you might be especially interested in, in our special algorithm part of knowledge map that covers many important themes such as data structures, dynamic programming, algorithm on, on graphs, and so on. Each topic has dependencies on other things and you could choose the order of learning topics by yourself, making your learning experience unique. Table view with visualization of your progress can be very motivating during the learning process. Our next session is for educators in the broadest sense of the word. If you are a teacher or a professional developer or just someone who wants to share your knowledge with your friends or classmates, our educational products can help you create your own educational content and transfer your programming skills in the form of code practice tasks and integrated tests. The EduTools plugin is a professional tool to help both learn and teach programming. It brings the learning by doing approach to teachers, students, and everyone from the community. Let's take a look at one of examples, Apache Beam Catus. We can choose it from the list and open it in the IDE. As in CodeForces integration, you can see a list of the lessons and tasks. 
Each task has an assignment description and task code in the editor that students need to complete with their code. Inspired by a PM Cadiz course, we can now create our own. Every course created with EtoTools plugin is structured as a list of lessons. Each lesson contains tasks of one of five different types. We are going to create a code challenge validated by tests. The task was created, including a description, a file with the exercise code, and the test file to check the solutions. You can also add any other files the students may need to complete the task. We are going to teach with the help of simple and effective filling the missing code exercises. So we will need to prepare exercise code and add an answer placeholder. Now we can add a task description with some useful hints using HTML or Markdown. The most important step is writing our custom test to automatically verify the student's solution when they click the check button. So we create a Hello Java test for our code challenge and run it to make sure everything works as intended. When we are ready with our task, we can review it and adjust the course information which is conveniently stored in YAML format. If we are done with the course, it's a good idea to view it from a student's perspective and test it. This is how our small demo course looks. After everything has been tested and verified, we can share our course publicly on the Stepic online learning platform, or we could share it privately with an archive file. After publishing, you can track the progress of your learners, know where they get stuck or check their solutions. You can also edit your course so the students have more comprehensible task descriptions and reliable tests. This was a very short demo on how to create your own course and share it, your knowledge with the community. But I hope it demonstrated how simple it is to do. Last but not least, we always appreciate contributions and new ideas from the community. By contributing to JetBrains Academy, you have a real opportunity to shape the learning experience not only for yourself, but hundreds of thousands of our users. Explaining the topics, creating a project, or even submitting an idea can help you see the same subject from a different angle. The easiest way to show your support is by helping other community members. Answer other users' questions, post useful links and hints, and submit solutions. Get exclusive first access to the new content, give us feedback, and improve the, le the learning experience not only for yourself, but for thousands of other users. Let us know which topics you'd like to see expanded or added. New project ideas are also welcome. Tell us what you would be interested to working on. Learn all about our content creating process and shape the learning experience for thousands of our users by creating topics and projects for JetBrains Academy. And we are also happy to see your contribution in our EduTools plugin. It's free and open source. We are always happy to reward our active contributors. You can receive gems, virtual points that you can spend on the platform. We are always excited to have new people to join our community. If you are interested in contributing to our educational products, please email us at academy at jetbrains.com. You can find more information on our website. If you want to start teaching or contributing, please follow the start guide, email us or drop a message in our Twitter. We have also prepared a small gift for everyone here. Please follow the special link, register on JetBrains Academy and get three months for free to try it. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask them now. I will be more than happy to answer them.